I'm Greg Jarbo. We're here at Search Engine Strategies London with Avinash Kushak. Avinash, you gave a very feisty <laughs> keynote speech this morning. Thank you very much. No, it's it's. Um, my, my goal at conference, like I said at the very opening, is to make people uncomfortable about what they do. And, and so I, I try to present some really challenging ideas that will push their ideas about how to think about search and then, of course, how to think about data with search. So uh, you, you took people through four, four stages, yes. and do you, you want to sort of summarize a couple of them? Sure, sure. So, so I did like a four-act play, and, and, and the first act was all about how do you actually visualize tens of thousands of rows of data um, so that you can see it in one page, because that's one of the problems is that we tend to obsess about the top 10 rows, the top 20 rows, and, and there is so much more gold in the tens of thousands of rows of keywords that send traffic to you. Um, the second one was my favorite, I think, which is how do you complete, compute the complete value of your website, what I call economic value. I think there's an obsession with revenue, and I think it, it doesn't allow us to show our decision makers in our company what the whole thing is that the website is delivering. It's more than a simple conversion. And, and the third and fourth were sort of really stretching your thinking, um, talking about the long tail and, and how to monetize the opportunity of the long tail. I think that um, many of us in the industry have grown up uh, by thinking about the long tail a certain way. And I think there's so much more amazing amounts of data and behavior that you can use to be much more effective with the long tail at scale. I mean, the, the, the incredible thing is on my blog, my long tail has 26,000 keywords. On a blog. Now think if I was running an actual business, like if it was searchenginewatch.com. Well, well, but you do sell your book on your blog. There's a link to Amazon, but but really, there isn't the con if the content of the book was on it, then maybe I have all these keywords people are looking uh -huh. for. It's the way people search and look for content that's so amazingly diverse. And now you can use tools to find that rather than guessing. Like one of the things I said is, you know, stop the fishing expeditions of keywords and use data. Um, and the last one, of course, is, is the thing that stymies all of us and all of you, which is how do you think about attribution? And, and I think that attribution is a huge challenge, and I think that people don't think about it in, a, in, in, a, in as sophisticated a way as is required. We look for easy answers. So my, my talk was geared towards saying, it's much more complex than you think, and, and, and it hope to just challenge existing paradigms so people can build something more that, that is more in tune with how businesses actually work. And if somebody wasn't here at SES London to sort of get revved up, will they find a lot of this in your new book? Um, yes, it'll be in the new book. And some, a couple of these stories at least we'll do in New York, so you can come hear me and Greg at New York as well. Well, there you have it. And I want you to know, despite the fact that Avinash is a buckeye <laughs> and I'm a wolverine, <laughs> it's been a, wonder, a wonderful chance to interview again. Oh, a buckeye. Yes, go Bucks. <laughs>